I've done this twice now. The first time my dog flipped out. Second time my phone completely died. And since then, I've taken the dog for a walk. She's had dinner. And for some reason now she's crying for attention. So we'll see how this goes. It's gonna be so much fun. Welcome back to Needlework Novice, episode three. My name is Amanda and I'm super happy for you to join me. Thank you for those who chose to subscribe. It's been quite a while since I posted a video. I honestly felt like I needed to have more progress to show you, but I'm really just gonna keep it real, show you what I've done, because life has been lifing. Um, we stay busy and the dog's gonna interrupt me another 800 times before this video gets recorded. I've tried this before and my phone completely died on me. So. We're just gonna start over and hope that it works out. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your comments. I'll talk about some of those as we go through um, my whips. I have whips for you. I have some starts. I have some haul. Should be pretty short, but we know that I like to talk. So, my first whip that I'm gonna show you is one that you are quite familiar with if you watched my other videos. This is the Queen of Hearts, Emma Congdon from the Cross Stitch for the Heart pattern book. I've been working on her for a little while. It's one of my first um, attempts, one of my first patterns. Super pretty, love the colors. Um, it's a big piece, so I'm not super stressed on, you know, having it done by a certain date, how many stitches that I get in. I just love working on it when I can. And I know that I will go ahead and, and put up an image of what this looked like in my last video. And I know that I said I was gonna continue with the outline color, that, that maroon there, um, because it was keeping me on count. Um, until an evening that I was comfy on the couch late at night stitching, and I ran out of that color and didn't feel like going to grab more. So I picked up some of the other colors in my kit, and here's the progress that I have on the queen. She's got a lot more definition. She's got a lot more um, attributes to her clothing. I'm gonna work on her hand here soon and a bit of color in her headdress. So this has been a lot of fun. Um, very pretty, I think she's coming along well. I am really enjoying the fact that I have those outlines to then fill in because it becomes an easy stitch when you're watching TV. So um, no other progress on the other half, it's still just the frame but she's coming along and I enjoy the colors. Um, I've been doing really well, knock on wood, not having to, you know, tink, I call it tink. What's that, frog or rip out stitches? So doing okay there. Oh, I guess I could tell you, this is a 28 count even weave um, using all the call for DMCs. Uh, I think I talked last time about how I changed, this is a hot mess how I changed how they are. This still isn't working for me the best. Um, I will find the best way that I think storing my floss um, will be for me. It's gonna take a little bit of time. All of the spare floss that I have, I keep in here in baggies. Labeled, I guess that's something we can go over later how I store my extra floss. But until then, it just stays all together in this zipper pouch. Everything's in a little plain zipper pouch, whether it came from Amazon or Michael's. I had a Michael's um, credit, pretty big one, embarrassingly enough. Um, so I got quite a few more of the zipper pouches. I just had to like run the dog up and down the stairs. Your girl needs a drink. Next one that I wanna talk about is the Autumn Quaker Primrose Cottage. I've seen quite a few stitchers working on the spring. Quaker, that might be what it's called, but um, it's gorgeous. And I will absolutely be stitching that, but I'm still gonna conquer this autumn one. This one has given me quite a fight, not because of the pattern. This is an actual simple pattern and a beautiful design. But I've learned that I can't be distracted when I'm stitching. I can't hold a conversation. I can't watch any new movies or shows. I've gotta be really focusing on what I'm doing. And some of your comments included, I've gotta actually find the kit I've got. Some of your comments included making a working copy of the pattern. I have it right here hiding. I did, I made a working copy and I'm doing really well. I think I'm gonna work on the best way to highlight it so that I know where I am within the pattern. 
I'll show you what happened here. Last time you saw it looked a little bit like this. In my last video, I'm going to say that was about three weeks ago. And we talked about what needed to be ripped out. I've ripped out what was necessary and I've restitched. Look at that intro. I've ripped this out, restitched it. I've started this square. Love this pattern, love this fabric, love the floss more than anything. Um, something's off. I'm gonna stare at this for a little while longer. I posted it on my Instagram. Um, something's wrong with the square that I put in and I haven't figured it out yet. And I think I've just become frustrated and I haven't attempted to figure it out. So um, bringing it out right now will give me a little bit of an inspiration to do so. And then I'm determined to just get this thing done. Look how pretty it is. I love all the shapes that are occurring. You can't see because of where I've decided to stash my needle. That was a hot, right? That was gorgeous. I do love it. So again, called for floss, called for fabric. I want more of this floss, which is why, which might also be um, motivating me to stitch the other um, related patterns. This is the Gentle Art Pumpkin Pie. Can you see that? Can you tell what hand I've done my nails on and what hand I have not? <laughs> um, and it is tonal. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can really see that. You can absolutely see it on the pattern, on the fabric, excuse me, as you're stitching. Gorgeous. Okay, let's put her away. She will get some more love. I really do like it. I think my problem was I was on a weekend trip that I was a chaperone for, and there was a quiet hour, and I started working on it, but you're not really paying attention. You still want to make sure all the kids are doing what they need to do when you're talking to the adults because you need to function. Um, but that is Pumpkin Pie from Color and Cotton. It says Color and Cotton. What am I saying when I say the gentle art? I don't know. Did I do something wrong? Did I get the wrong floss? Thinking out loud. <laughs> Did you just see that? Okay. This is on 28 count mushroom. Two over two. Next. Sweet Wing Studio Blessings Overflow. I talked about this in my last one. I posted a little bit about this on my Instagram. This is a start, I think, from when I last talked to you. I had it in a haul, but I hadn't started it. But I kitted it up, and then I just got the nerve to start it. Again, I made a working copy. I'm doing okay. Called for fabric, called for floss, 32 count, graceful gray, witch oat linen, weeks dye works, and DMC flosses. Here's my start. But... That's not enough. I've got plenty of fabric, right? Tons of fabric. Second start. Maybe I'll stitch two at a time. Maybe I'll just carry this orange floss with me wherever I go. So, doing okay. Here's my concern because I've, again, with these new starts that I'm showing you, it's, uh, some of them are on linen. And I'm struggling a little bit. I can see it. I can see where to put the stitches. However, um, I guess you call them slubs. I, I really can't, I really don't know, but there's a part of the fiber that's thicker and you can see them standing out here. That's just a thicker strand of fiber woven in. And that means that my width of stitch or length of stitch differs. And I'm struggling with that. It's not even, it's not an even weave, right? Um, I really don't know anyone else that cross stitches. So if you have any like tips, tricks, or letting me know that that is totally normal, put that in the comments. That would help me out a lot. Sometimes I struggle, but I just keep going. Like what else? It's still going to be pretty. So I'm working on that. You know what else I'm working on? That was a start. This one is... A restart. Do you remember the Lady Goose from Mama Witch X Stitch? Oh, this goose. I proclaimed my love for this goose many a time. I still have a an empty frame on my wall. I've moved a lot of furniture around so I couldn't sit over there for my video. But um, 
I've, I've restarted it. And I want to thank everyone that gave me the comments about the color change. Change the colors that just aren't working on the fabric you chose. This is not the restart. This is the original attempt. And I think this is gorgeous, especially on this color. This is the gray. What is this? Nope. This is the Artiste 14 Count Yorkshire Yorkshire Gray um, Cotton and Polyester from Hobby Lobby. I think these colors look amazing on this. But when it came to the goose and some of the accents and the florals, it just wasn't going to work. Uh, you can't see the creams on this fabric. So a lot of you commented, not a lot, but I had a few comments <laughs> about keeping it changing the colors. I have, I have thought about it and thought about it, try to figure out what color to work and I can't figure it out. Not that it's not going to happen, which is why I haven't ripped it out. But, um, I think I want to keep the pattern as is as far the, as far as my original intention. And so I can't seem to find a black, uh, Ada readily available. So I did have a Navy in my stash that I also picked from, um, Hobby Lobby, their Artiste. What's this one? This is a 14 count Ada in New Navy. Can you see that? All these lights. I ran out of sunlight. But I've started the goose on the Navy, and so far I like her. This is her neck and kerchief over her head. Not a whole lot of a start but we will see how I feel when it comes to then putting more blue on it like for the house. I think it'll still work. I think it'll be just fine. So I'll keep you posted on that. I haven't given up on this goose yet. I really do still want her on my wall. And the navy really does go with my decor. I have navy accents pretty much everywhere, on my couch, on my wall, on my area rug. So she's still gonna work. As a matter of fact, I might even like it more. So thank you for your comments and suggestions on that. I have plans to maybe do a little more with this original attempt. We shall see. Okay, this is my last start. And then I have some haul and then another tool that I want to show you that I forgot that I end up using a lot and I forgot to show you. This is a start that I got when I first started cross stitching. I got this pattern. Let me find it without the chart um, just because I, I really like the patterns that are dainty that use a lot of negative space in the design I'm not going to attempt to say this designer's name but it is red robin and snow wreath it is a winter pattern but how pretty the little girl walking her dog very pretty and again I got something in my head that said, go ahead and start it. And I did. This is on, this is a DMC that I found, fabric, linen, 28 count. I don't know how I feel about linen. It's the uneven, unevenness that I'm struggling with, um, but I'm gonna keep going. I think this color and this fabric feels good. The color is gorgeous. I just don't know how I feel about it. Here's my start though. I don't know what's going on here. I imagine this is a mistake. Oh no, okay, we're doing all right. Here she is. Look at her with her dog. How cute. I noticed when I cover my mouth, you can't hear me as well. I'll work on that or maybe get like a microphone or something. That's it. I haven't done any of the um, winter landscape, but I did cut this out. So I have plenty of more fabric of what um, I purchased. There was a lot more fabric than this. So I can always use more on different patterns. Again, with the thick and the thin weave. Someone let me know if that's standard or if there's a practice I need to make, but that's adorable. Even looking at her now, she's so cute. I love the negative space um, utilized within a design. So I am a fan. Thinking back on it, I probably would have personalized this. This is where, you know, you guys are inspiring me to change the colors. Maybe make her hair maybe more my color, put a little black and white in this dog to make it more like my dog. So going forward, I do feel like I'll be a little more creative with that freedom there in the 
color choices. But I am using, this came, I purchased it from 123 Stitch and I purchased the called for um, DMC threads. So I got them all together on a 28 count linen. That's it for what I've been stitching on. Do I have more stitching plans? Of course. Let me show you what I got though. It's haul time. Excuse me. Okay. Haul. So I have a reoccurring shipment from Fat Quarter Shop of the Country Cottage Needleworks Country Cottage Ornament Pastel Collection. I received the fourth installment. So I don't know if you guys are, if this is a secret or a surprise, because I don't really follow, I just knew I wanted it. And so now it's shipped to me automatically. So maybe you look away. If this isn't something you want to check out, I'll take it out of the bag. This month is a snow globe. How cute. A little closer. Snowman tree. I love the colors so much. I don't know that I'll be making ornaments. I haven't even started on any of them, but I don't think I'll be making ornaments again. My plan, hopefully, is to do kind of like a patchwork situation, maybe a quilted patchwork. If you can hear the dog, it's because I'm trying to distract her with peanut butter in this random container I have found. So I have put them together in a kit. Here are my four smalls that I need to start, but I went ahead and went to Fat Quarter Shop's site and got the thread kit for it. Might as well, I was gonna purchase them anyway, so they put everything all together that you need. This is a mix of classic colorworks and DMC. Everything you need for your uh, patterns for the year. I just want to pull out the classic color works because this is my absolute favorite. If I had to choose a palette for anything else, look at these colors. Isn't that fun? I think that's awesome for a holiday. Whoa. Just so pretty. I love it. These are the colors that I typically decorate with for the holiday. Not quite traditional. It's still very festive. And then of course you've got your cream. This is the bamboo and Jolly Holly. Very pretty. And your DMCs that go. So I treated myself, everything's there. The only thing I don't have is the fabric. I'm sure it will be on order. Next in my haul is the rest of the things that I ordered. Um, bless her heart. This took a while to get to me because for some reason the post office didn't like my address. I don't have any issues getting anything shipped to me anywhere else. Even when I order from Etsy, this came from an Etsy shop homespun sampler. I'll make sure to put the information below. She was super patient. Um, so I want to say thank you for that and it communicated with me and gave me other options to make sure that I got my patterns. Again, sorry for the dog's noise. Because there's one in here that's really important to me that I was looking forward to. But we'll start with, again, this is one, these are one of the first patterns that I ordered and so they are kind of wintry. This is Little House Needleworks Snow White. Again, this is another pattern that utilizes the negative space. And so it really, uses the fabric as a part of the pattern. Pretty, right? I was also at the time looking for patterns that only utilized one thread color. So that'll be nice to travel with. You don't have to worry about switching threads. This calls for uh, Classic Color Works Bell. I'm not gonna pronounce that right. It's a white color. Or no, excuse me, in the color icing. On a 28 count rosemary linen from Wichelt Imports. I think we can make that happen. So I love that. It'll end up being about seven and a half inches square. Another little or small. What else did I get? She sent me a freebie pattern. Thank you for that, super cute. 
I ordered another winter seam. Um, again, this took a long time to get to me. Um, multiple attempts at shipping. This is Barbara Anna Designs Holy Night Counted Cross Stitch. Also utilizing that negative space. Come on, ring light. You can see that, yeah? Here we go. Here we go. Pretty Santa on the sleigh. What I love about it, I wish I had taken this out, is that in the snow, there's detail that looks like um, quilting stars. Love that. So I'm excited to make that. Very excited. I didn't get any floss with it though. Oh, the woes. Okay, here's the PS de Resistance. I went online literally searching for this theme, the theme of Shenandoah. Not a lot of patterns that I found for what I was looking for until I stumbled across this one. Carriage House Samplings Shenandoah. Look at this. It makes me so happy. It's huge, though. Um, let's see what this size comes out as. Oh, this chart is a big one. Um... 177 wide by 130 high. If I utilize 14 or, or 28 count, it would be 12 and 5 eighths by nine and a quarter inch. So, I'm excited about it. This was knit on the knit. This was stitched on the linen. Doesn't really say just gives you the count. Oh no, it does. This sample was on a 40 count vintage lentil from Lakeside Linens and Designs using one strand of DMC over two threads of linen. Very nice. Um, just a little feeling of home and I'm excited about it. Who knows when I'm gonna start it? That's a big one. That's a long-term project, but I would love to have it up on the walls. So I want to show you one more tool and I thank you very much for following. I have no idea if I made any sense, um, but thank you so much for hanging out. I know that in my last video, yeah, my last video, I was talking about tools and this is one that I don't think I included. I'm pretty sure I did not include and I utilize it all the time. I'll put a link below. I'm sure you can find a better deal than what I found, but this is a light that goes around your neck. Um, this one says glue, excuse me, no clue uh, how to pronounce this. However, um, it has a button on the back to change the light type. It has two options, one here, one here, right? And then I can change the brightness, but the button on the back changes the type of light to warm, LED, and cool, which I love. Depends on what your, your heart wants at the moment, what your eyes can see, put it on your neck, stitching right, at the light and my hands are free doing whatever I need to do because this is how we stitch. Um, so just wanted to let you know, I'll put the link below. I utilize this all the time. No matter how much light I have, I am definitely one of those people that don't use the big light, no overhead lights in my apartment. It's always lamps. So oftentimes wherever you sit, if it's not directly under a lamp, you're not gonna have enough light. This will help to supplement that. This also helps when I'm trying to do like no screens, trying to get into a good um, bedtime routine, what do we call it, sleep hygiene, where you turn off all the lights, you turn off all your screens, but you can have a book light. Um, this is something that I use to kind of chill at night and, and get ready for bed. So thank you again so much for joining me. Um, thank you for checking me out again. I look forward to continuing to stitching with you. I will put a couple of um, floss tube channels in my description of the ones that I have been paying attention to here lately. Feel free to say hello and recommend your own, but thanks again. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.